however, it is a psychological uh, condition. It's a disease where people seek out children right around the same age they were when they were damaged in that way. So it just makes me nauseous when I read this. So I was, you know, and I started thinking, let's see what Jeff Gannon has to say about this. You know who Jeff Gannon was, right? He, he's a gym teacher. Yeah. Who actually passed himself off as a journalist, uh, even before Talon News, which is his journalistic, uh, was his journalistic attachment. That was who he wrote for, a, a website called Talon News, GOPUSA conservativeguy.com he gets a White House press pass what uh, over 200 times what was fascinating is only 155 press briefings that he attended so what was he doing the other 40 50 times I don't know anyway I said you know what let me see what the what and he ran a gay escort service there are naked pictures of him on his site which he went on CNN and denied was his he said he was purchasing them for other people but the other people thought Let's put Jeff Gannon's naked body up there with a description that he's available for out calls. And that he's a top and a, and a dominator and, uh, you know, that's what he's all about. Apparently Jeff Gannon forgot that I could read. But anyway, last night I got so upset with what he had on his website. And today he's got some, some conspiracy theory that, uh, you know, he wants to put forward about uh, it's the Democrats that are doing this. But all the pages are Republican. Do pages have a party? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Pages are, uh, they apply to a congressman based on their political p party. Uh, the congressman interviews them, decides whether or not they're going to be part of the page program, and then they are paid. They, they actually are paid. They're in high school. Uh, they're 16. They're, uh, I think they're juniors. And they live in a dormitory, and they wear uniforms, and they are working for that particular party's congressman. They're working for, like Foley's con uh, pages would be, you know, uh, uh, Republican pages. But anyway, I got really sick because last night before he posted his little conspiracy theories about the Democrats, he had a posting up there about how uh, Ann Coulter was brilliant because Ann Coulter was saying um, that it is a gay problem. And she said, we need to get a rule book for the Democrats. Boy Scout, as gay as you want to be. Priests, no gays. Democrat politicians, proud gay Americans. Republican politicians, presumed guilty. White House press corps, no gays unless they hate Bush. Active duty U.S. military, as gay as possible. Men who date Liza Minnelli do I have to draw you a picture, Miss Thing. And Gannon had that up there last night and says, Coulter nails Dems gay hypocrisy. Uh, I hate to tell you, I, like I said, I know Mark Foley. Mark Foley was fr a friend of mine. He'd been on my show a few times. We'd fought on my show. But Mark Foley was the, I did get a Secret Service tour of the White House. Mark Foley was the person that got me that Secret Service tour. We all got along when the day was over, okay? And so, um... Everybody that I knew knew Mark Foley was gay. We never demanded Mark Foley show his pink triangle. No, nobody ever, you know, went and said, hey, where's your rainbow flag, Mark Foley? You know what I mean? Nobody cared. No one cared. Everybody that gave him money in Palm Beach knew he was gay. I knew he was gay. His colleagues from, from the neighboring districts knew he was gay. Uh, his colleagues from both sides of the aisle knew he was gay. Nobody ever, ever blackmailed him or tried to out him or do any. I mean, he ran for the Senate, and he didn't want to talk about being gay, and that hurt his Senate campaign because he wasn't being honest. So he couldn't run statewide. That came from the Republican National Committee, not from the Democrats. They're the ones that said, Foley, you can't run. We're not giving you money. So... I just got really sick to my stomach about the idiocy that goes on on the, on the Internet. And uh, I responded to Jeff Gannon. I wrote him an email. He wrote me back. And this went on from, oh, when, what time did we start? I think we started around 10 o'clock or so. And we got finished, uh, according to him, his last email to me was like around 11.15, something like that. So I'm going to read you these emails. And then uh, Gannon concluded by saying, do you want to have this conversation on the air? And I said, oh, yes, the sooner the better. So he'll be on today in the third hour. This ought to be fascinating. He has lied so many times, I don't know which one he's going with. And I know he's listening. Hi, Jeff. You're, I, I don't know why you want to set yourself up for this, but please do come on. 18 after. All right, 53 after. Here's an update on Jeff Gannon. I couldn't believe that he would actually come on the show, although he promised in emails last night that he would. 
You know, Jeff Gannon is the, the fake journalist. He's really a gym teacher. He was a phys ed major. That's what he majored in in college. And, of course, he got a uh, cleared to be a member of the White House Press Corps without having written anything. He got his clearance to be part of the White House Press Corps when clearly the rules are that you have to have been published prior to being given White House press credentials. I know this because my producer at the time, Jenny, uh, had a master's degree from Columbia School of Journalism, a master's degree. She was a journalist and was a working journalist in Jerusalem for years and years and years. And when she joined the Randy Roadshow and this Jeff Gannon thing broke, I said, hey, Jenny, let's see if we can get credentialed. You're a real journalist. I'm not. You are. Let's see if you can get credentialed. I wouldn't apply because I'm not a journalist and I'm not dishonest. But Jeff... Gannon, whose real name is um, Jim Guckert, not only was given a press pass to become member a member of the White House Press Corps, but had never written anything. He got cleared before Talon News, which is now gone, including all of his articles that he ever wrote. They're all erased. There's no evidence of him ever writing anything on the Internet. All his websites are gone, including his mail escort service is gone, his uh, Talon News is gone, GOP USA is gone, conservativeguy.com, it's all gone. Uh, so last night, I just, I, I got sick to my stomach because he's gay. And he was screaming that this is about gays being immoral uh, just because they're gay. And I just, I don't know, just made my skin crawl, so I wrote him. I have his email and I wrote him. And, I, and he said, do you want to have this conversation on the show? And I said, yes, I do. When? Sooner the better. Give me your contact information. He gave me his phone numbers, one for conversation, which I didn't call because I was afraid it'd be like, you know, nine ninety nine a minute or whatever. And uh, then one to do an interview on a landline, which is what you want. Uh, so I passed it on to John Manzo, our executive producer, and he contacted Jeff. And Jeff said, yeah, he could do it today. And we put up on our website two pictures of Jeff Gannon, one in the White House, and one from his website, it's him, it, you know. And we said, uh, we gave the facts, about 98% of molested males and 99.5% of molested girls are victims of heterosexuals, uh, predatory uh, 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 problems. And all of a sudden, like two minutes ago, Jeff Gannon says, I don't like the way you advertised me. Uh, I'm not the one that posed nude, Jeff, you are. I'm not the one that put it on the World Wide Web, my naked picture of you is not on the World Wide Web, because I don't have a naked picture of you uh, to put on the World Wide Web until you gave me one to put on the World Wide Web. And that's the picture that's on my website, the one that you put on the World Wide Web. I guess when it profits you to put the picture up on the World Wide Web, that's cool. But if I should take the picture that you put up on the World Wide Web and included on my website, that would be wrong. You have some very serious problems with morals and issues and ethics, Jeff Gannon. I knew you'd chicken out. Outstanding, he says. I knew you would. That's why we take hostile callers first. Because Republicans are chickens. Chicken hawks, chicken crap, you name it, they're chickens. I thought he was a dominant. That's what he said. Very Not aggressive. Uh, apparently, uh, you know. Two tops don't get along. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone's laughing their ass off. Right now. is uh, very difficult to pronounce, to remember, and to spell. And uh, many people who have been talking about me on television have yet to pronounce it correctly. But your, I mean, your real name is James, and you use the pseudonym Jeff. It, what, yes. W I, w how is James so much harder than Jeff? It's easier to pronounce, to remember, and to spell.